Hello everyone, I am Swapnil Ashtaker here to give you a lecture on OSM model. OSR stands for Open System Interconnection. It is a reference model of seven layers starting from physical layer, data link layer, network layer transport layer, session layer, presentation layer, and application layer. This is a reference model which is being used in the networking. This slide shows the interface of an OSI model. In this interface model is being shown that two devices are communicating with the help of an intermediate node. The application layer, presentation layer, as you see there is an interface. Similarly, the same interface is being observed in all the layers. If you see carefully, each computer is having seven layer OS a reference model. But in case of intermediate nodes, which can be a router, has only three layers associated with it which is physical, data link and network. The communication which is taking place between two computers at the same level is called as peer-to-peer -peer communication as you can see over here. This diagram indicates the exchange of data using OSI model. If you observe carefully, the data sent by the user is being appended by the header by each layer. The header contains the information for source and destination address while maintaining the control and signaling. At the sender side, the header gets added. The send the data is sent in the bit forms through the transmission medium it is being received while at the receiving side if you see the header is decapsulated as being received by the receiver now we'll try to understand the functions of each layer starting with the physical layer the physical layer deals with sending of the data in bits format through the transmission medium. It decides the electrical and mechanical specifications to be followed. The physical layer is responsible for movements of individual bits from one hop to next hop, that is any device. Next is data link layer which is responsible for sending of frames from one node to the next node is basically being used to make physical layer reliable by introducing three different types of control such as error control, flow control and access control. After data link layer there is something called as a network layer which is responsible for delivery of individual packets from source host to the destination hosts. It deals with the routing of data. The next is transport layer, which is responsible for delivery of the data from one process to another process. Here there is a brief introduction about it as the transport layer deals with process to process delivery the network layer deals with host to host delivery and data link layer deals with node to node delivery after network uh, transport layer there is something called as a session layer session layer is responsible for dialogue control and synchronization purpose to maintain a proper session between the two computers. After session layer, there is something called as a presentation layer. 
which is responsible for translation, compression and encryption of the data. After presentation layer, the last layer is nothing but the application layer, which is responsible for providing the services to the user. Hence with the we completed the brief introduction of all the layers. Here there is a summarize. Physical layer, data link layer, network, transport, session, presentation and application layer. Just to quickly revise. Physical layer deals with the bits movement of a medium. Provide mechanical and electrical specification. Next is data link layer which deals to organize bits into frames and provides software delivery. Network layer which deals with movements of packets from source to destination responsible for internet working. Transport layer provides reliable process to process delivery. Session layer with establish, manage and terminate the sessions. Presentation layer to translate, encrypt and compress the data. And finally application layer to allow access to network resources. Thanks for watching this video.